Hello, in this short video I'm going to go through how to install a specific version of Ansible and on Ubuntu today. So I've got an Ubuntu 2004 machine here and I would like to install a specific version of Ansible. Now if you just do the standard pip3 install Ansible you will get the latest version of Ansible. Now if you have a requirement to go back some versions if there's some incompatibility and you need to install a specific version there are a few ways to do that so I'm going to go through those ways today and we're going to do this within virtual environments so I don't uh, install multiple different versions on my main machine so I'm in a folder called VMs and I'm going to start by making a virtual environment by typing Python 3 minus M VM and this one is going to be Ansible dash uh, latest. Um, we're going to go into that so CD Ansible dash latest and then I'm going to activate that virtual environment. So I'm now I'm, I'm in my virtual environment and I want to install the latest version of Ansible. So that's very easy. So you just do pip3 install Ansible. So this will go off and find the latest version of Ansible and it will get any dependencies that it needs. And you can see here we are pulling down a few other packages as well. When this is installed, we'll do an Ansible dash dash version and see the current version that, that we're running with. Okay, so that's done now, and just do a quick Ansible dash dash version. Let's click the screen. So, Ansible dash dash version, and this will tell us which version we're running. So, this is Ansible core here, and we're now currently at 2.11.3. So, that's great. I've installed the latest version. So, but what if I wanted a, a more specific version? So, I'm going to just um, exit from this virtual environment. And we're going to create another one. So this is the beauty of the virtual environment is that you can install multiple different versions. So I'm going to do Python 3 um, VM. And this time I want to install Ansible. Let's just go for 2.8. So I'm going to say 28 on there. Or 2.8.1. So you've got a specific requirement to install Ansible 2.8.1. So we're going to change into that folder again, and I'm going to activate that one. Now you don't have to use a virtual environment. If you literally just want to install Ansible 2.8.1 on your main machine, then just run the commands and it will install. Um, but most people have got more than one installation and would like to keep them separate. So I'm now in the folder and I've activated the environment. So now I want to install Ansible 2.8.1. Now there are two ways to do this. Now the first way would be to do a pip3 install Ansible and then two equal signs 2.8.1. So this then tells pip to install version 2.8.1. So let's do that. And you can see um, I don't have that package cached anywhere so it's now pulling it down um, and we also see this error which I'll explain uh, what that is and how to fix it so we've now installed Ansible 2.8.1 and if I say Ansible dash dash version again we can see as requested we've got Ansible 2.8.1 but let's just go back quickly to this error. So the invalid command bdis wheel um, is related to the way that the Ansible package is installed now, which is using wheels. Um, if you see this error um, and you want to resolve it, uh, you just need to, within your virtual environment, do a pip3 install wheel. That will install the wheels package, the wheel package, and that error then will not happen. So that's great. We've now installed Ansible 2.8.1. Brilliant. Um, and the final way, which I'll show you how you can install a specific version of Ansible, 
is uh, we're going to go into my virtual environment again and I'm going to now make another one so this will be let's just say I want to do 2.9.1 this time I'm going to call that 291 cd ansible 291 source bin activate so I'm now in my other folder which I want to install ansible 2.9.1 and there is a file called the requirements.txt file so if I create a file called requirements.txt and I'm just going to edit that file and when we did the pip install I said ansible equals equals 2.9.1 or 2.8 I think what it was but I can specify this in a requirements file now this doesn't have to just be Ansible I can do multiple packages here so I could list a whole lot of packages and their specific versions that I want installing so we save that so if I just look at that file now we've just got one file in here and it just says I want to install Ansible 2.9.1 and then the command to do that is pip3 install minus r and then you specify the name of the file and we say requirements.txt and then this will go off and you can see there it's collecting ansible 2.9.1 we've got that error again i'll do this once more and we'll fix that error at the beginning so you can see a clean install but you can see i've instructed the pip package to ansible dash dash version to install Ansible 2.9.1. Brilliant. So we'll do one more just so you can see how this will go in clean. So I'm going to now make another directory. So Python 3 VM, and let's call this one Ansible 2.9.0. So we're going to do a completely different version now. Go into that one. Source bin activate. Sorry, let's change into the folder. Ansible 290. Source bin activate. Okay, now I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to do a pip3 install wheel. Hmm, so this is interesting. So I could probably um, do wheel before I did. Let's try. I've never done that before. Let's try this. So let's uh, touch requirements.txt again. And so I want in here wheel and then Ansible. 2.9.0 wasn't it I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work um, pip3 install minus r yep so that's going to go and install the wheel first yeah it didn't work okay that's fine someone watching this maybe you could tell me how to fix that why that didn't work so we'll do it once more and I'm gonna make one more so Python 3 minus M. So let's do Ansible 292. Go into there, source bin activate. Now I, I am not a hardcore Python developer. I am a network consultant I'm based in the UK. If you've not seen any of my videos before, um, my name is Roger Perkin. I'm a CCIE 50,038. And I also run um, training courses on Ansible and network automation uh, so if you click on the link below you'll 
be taken to those courses and you can learn more about network automation. That's my focus, but within doing that, um, I am digging into Python and learning a lot more in that space. So, but I'm not, by no means a, a hardcore Python developer. So we're in this folder now, and I'm just going to do a pip3 install. So we're going to install the wheel package first, and then we're going to do pip3 install ansible 2.9. What we're doing this time, 2. So you can see it's collecting ansible 292 and fingers crossed on this one we should get a clean install because I've got the wheel package already installed. And that seems to be going through smoothly. So if you wanted to know how do I install a specific version of Ansible, um, I hope this video has answered your question. Um, yeah, that's, that's installed clean, that's brilliant. So I've now got Ansible dash dash version 292. So you can see that's how to install the specific version of Ansible on an Ubuntu machine. Uh, my name is Roger Perkin. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of videos. Um, leave a comment on how I maybe fixed that previous error. And leave a comment if you want me to make any other videos in this area. So have a great day. Thank you. Bye.